Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart for you all here, covering the drop that we saw last night, the support that we bounced off of and the resistance that we are running into right now. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. As always, I'm going to be sharing a lot of knowledge with you all. So I do recommend you block out all distractions and give me your full attention for this video because we are going to be sharing some great technical analysis. So as you know, over at Chart Champions for the past month, we have been absolutely focused on pitchforks. We've been looking at Fibonacci, been looking at harmonics, and obviously started to show the triangle. The triangle which has helped us time the last low and high oh so well. So as you know, when we were coming down to the low here, which obviously simultaneously was the low of our triangle, from the low of that triangle, we also had confluence, obviously, with coming into this CC with the 76% probabilities that we would be getting that bounce. As you'll know from yesterday's update, I had taken that long position, shared with the group the entry, the target, and the stop loss, uh, which was obviously the entry off of $10,470. So that was the long trade that I was in under the perspective that we had the butterfly harmonic going on, which is obviously a high, low, high, low, giving you then your next high to the upside. And within this, you had somewhat of a short squeeze, um, you know, bringing you up to around that monthly open level. And this is where, really simply, and this is why I was saying in yesterday's video, if you want to know how exactly I am trading this, then this is the information that I gave to all of the champions in real time. So there's no hindsight trading. There's no me saying I'm long. There's no me saying, oh, I might do this. No, I've closed the long from 10,470 and now I am short. That is the golden information that everybody wants to know. Finally, Daniel is short. I can relax. This was posted on the 5th. And obviously, we in the end, we moved up to around 10,800. And the way I was trading it was really simply had laddered shorts to 10,850. Um, so yeah, that obviously went really well in the end with that short position. So I want to explain to you, how did we get that last long? The last long was off of the butterfly harmonic. Also simultaneously with the fact that you bounced off of the CC. So you had those two confluences of why I was looking for the original long. Then that long obviously extended up to around the monthly open. And then from that monthly open, well, really simply, <laughs> as I was writing down here, let the prophecy come true. As we know, we have been trading each step of the way this triangle, and there was no way I was going to let it up. So when I was looking for my short positions up to 10,850, it was because I was trading my triangle. I'm sticking to my plan. As I was writing here, I'm sticking to the plan, and each pivot of this triangle, I have traded oh so well. So I was not going to give up. I was not going to give up. Uh, as we were coming up to those highs. And that's why I closed the long from 10,470 10, and went into the short position that was up at these highs, ladies and gentlemen. And as we know, we got the big drop to the downside. And this is where the technical analysis, it, it, it's just going to work once again. Butterfly harmonic. What's the target of a butterfly harmonic? Okay, if you don't know, you're going to be looking for around a CC. Obviously, always a very, very important level. Take your Fibonacci from the last low up to the last high, and would you look at this, coming into the CC once again for your support bounce. That is absolutely incredible. That is also confluence. As you know, this has been the middle of our channel. You bounced off the middle of the channel, but not just the middle of the channel. You had the confluence there of bouncing off of the CC. So yesterday, again, these are all updates that I give in real time. Yesterday, what I was obviously from that short position, I took take profit one off of 10,650 because that for me is a very important support level. And my take profit two was bouncing off of the middle of the channel and the CC. And this is why I'm saying, you know, profit taken on short, catch all tomorrow, <laughs> e.g. today, for more trades. And what am I looking at today? After shorting the highs, well, not only that, we can take it back a step. After longing the lows, closing the long, shorting the highs, taking profits at the low, because the key level for me is $10,650. $10,650. It's been key for me this whole time. It's why I've been taking profits on the level. It's why I've been very much aware of what happens at this level. At the moment, we are below that level. If. The, the sign here again is if, if we can reclaim this level and hold it as support, there's no reason why we obviously cannot push up to much higher levels because then that is 
the CC holding, just as the CC held back here, would be the CC holding once again. It would be the middle of the channel holding. It would be claiming resistance to support. Again, 10,650, 10,750, 10,850, three important $50 levels that is just occurring on Bitcoin, the levels that you must be aware of. Okay, you absolutely must be aware of those levels. Uh, so that, that's how I'm approaching this. I don't want to say, like, just as yesterday, I don't want to say the exact position, how exactly how I'm trading this right now, because that is for the champions group. But I feel as if I give an, in my videos enough of an analysis so you can make your own opinion of the public videos. But really simply, I can explain to you exactly why we bounced at the low, exactly why we rejected at the high, and exactly why we found support down here, and exactly why we're finding resistance where we are. It is, really simply, the original, obviously the butterfly harmonic that we had, coming up to the high of the butterfly harmonic, switching that long into the shorts. And then while we're finding, finding support down here, it's because we're coming into the CC, Okay, that's why you got your bounce because traders like myself are taking profits down at the triangle low. Okay, and on top of that, the reason why you are now finding resistance, well, pretty simply, you're running into the 10650, really important level, and support into resistance. Uh, you know, you, you, you know, <laughs> I, I, hopefully you can understand that this is very, 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 very technical, and there is a lot of money to be made trading Bitcoin right now because it is extremely technical. It's extremely technical. Every pivot of this market, as you'll know from this triangle, yes, I am going to show you the triangle again because as we know, each step of this triangle from the lows, from the original long that I took 10,200 up to the highs, but even from there, projecting the next low, high, low and high, each step of the way of this triangle has just been well, what can we say? Pretty, pretty perfect indeed. To get that move down yesterday. Um, I guess I'll end with this. Like, does this have to move down all the way? No, absolutely not. If we can hold up support here and reclaim 10650, naturally, don't just trade a bias. Don't be like, oh, I really want this triangle to trade out, trade to the downside, for example. So I'm only going to trade shorts. No, we've been trading longs and we've been trading shorts in this market. So if the chart shows the strength, we will long naturally okay but you obviously don't want to long into resistance levels just as you you know anybody shorting down here yesterday is absolutely brain dead because this is obviously an awful short and just like it is now you'd be a bit brain dead to try and long here because you're longing into resistance you want to see resistance claimed as support and then that gives you your next good trade okay or alternative you see you see another demand test uh, which is also another possibility for a long so you know we can't say that you know, this chart is extremely bearish right now. We can just say we're, we're, we're trading what the chart's giving us. At the moment, we're below a really key level, which for me is 10,650, but we have bounced off support. So we cannot be overly swayed to one side. At the end of the day, we will trade what the chart gives us. Okay, so really simply, one more time, we have the triangle. We have a very important support. We have a resistance just above us. Uh, if that's claimed, then obviously you're, you're going to be looking to push up for higher levels. And this was another one that I felt was just absolutely brilliant. And this is the pitchfork. Um, and lately we've been going over pitchforks quite a lot because they are actually extremely useful tools and they're really underrated. So they're extremely underrated. But look at this for a pitchfork. Low, high, low. Look how the middle of the pitchfork has been respected. Resistance, support, 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 lost, resistance. And then obviously this was posted yesterday in my group. And from here, we, we, we obviously saw the move down to the middle of the channel, which I just think, well, like my, like my exact words, so amazing. Like this pitchfork is absolutely amazing. The way that it's got the lows here and back into the resistance of the midpoint, that is just like absolutely amazing. But it's not just the fact that you had the pitchfork there. It's also the fact that you had the monthly open. It's the fact that you were coming into 10850. It's the fact that you were having the butterfly harmonic. It's the fact that you were coming off the 786. It's the fact that you were at the top of the at the top of your triangle. All of those factors together is what gave a good short position. But this, this pitchfork is obviously, you know, this is what I'm trying to stress. I'm not just using one tool, but I am using a confluence of tools, which give me such confidence to openly state to everybody in the group where I know I have a lot of people following me exactly what I'm doing. You know, it's brilliant. And I, and I do know there are a lot of people that want to see me fail, not necessarily in my group, but a lot of people that follow me uh, off of YouTube, you know, the haters and all this, that, you know, they'd love to see me fail. So when I post with such confidence exactly what I'm doing, 
you know, it's, it's because I have high confidence that it wins. <laughs> um, but yeah, that really brings us... I, I, I just love that one. And obviously now, again, we are bouncing off to CC support. Don't forget about that. Also, the middle of the channel, the same middle of the channel that we've been aware of for quite a while now. Obviously, it is a big resistance back into support you know sr flips you know that's at the end of the day a really big sr flip just as this was support support back into resistance right now so the levels are clear as day in my opinion i have a very clear easy trading plan uh pitchforks going well and i will end with this that obviously at chart champions you not only get some of the best calls in the world where you know who else was looking for longs down at those lows not many people we were we obviously managed to trade that up to the high switching that into short positions you know people are in disbelief but that's fine but not only do i give the calls we also do the education and in tonight's contenders live stream this is for the contenders and the champions i will be covering pitchforks so we're going to be going over the pitchfork and also the pitch fan which is you never even see this used by a lot of traders because they don't even know what they're doing with it. This is a very powerful tool, okay? So that is what I'll be covering in the educational live stream tonight about the pitchforks so you can start to see, well, the magic that, that comes of that. So if you're interested in the educational side or just you want to know how I'm trading, like I was saying yesterday, if you if you knew I was in this short, then you, you would have been taking it with me because my, my win rate at the moment has just been <laughs> pretty, pretty perfect. Um... So yeah, that's what I'm going to end with today. Uh, as always, if you've enjoyed the video, I would thoroughly appreciate a like down below. And also you could give you could give a nice comment of how, I mean, how impressive was that trying? I, I impress myself sometimes. I literally do. To, yeah, that, that was good. But uh, <laughs> naturally, this video is going to get a lot of dislikes as well. I'm prepared for the dislikes. It's absolutely fine. But at the end of the day, as long as I can have helped at least one person with this video, it's mission complete. I'm happy. And I hope that you have a brilliant day. I absolutely will. And I'm buzzing to go back and trade this. So thank you, everybody, once again. Have a good day and goodbye. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>